Hi guys, this is Lachette from Scarlet Moon Creations and I'm back with a new plan with me video. So, um, if you've been following me for a while, you'll realize this is a different setup. I am set up on a desk, um, not a desk exactly, but sort of a tabletop. Um, one that I've been wanting to have a setup on, but now I have the equipment basically the tripod to do so um so we're gonna give this a shot if you are a new follower thanks to one book july 2019 welcome um this is not an official one book july video but this is my regular monthly plan with me so you will see stuff in here that you will not see in my updates uh mainly how I set up my spreads and decide what I'm going to be doing uh, for each month. Um, picking out my projects and tasks for the month. And you'll get an in-depth look at uh, some of my supplies. So let's get to it. This is July 2019 and I have been using uh, my fabric dory for years now. That will change later on. I mentioned in my One Book July 2019 setup video that I would be making a new cover and I still plan to do that, but I haven't yet. Um, so this is, this is what I got. Uh, however, what will change is the inside. So let me put these guys to the side here first and let's get started. Also. Um, if you're new here and don't know, um, I film on my phone, so what you see is, um, what you get, but more importantly, what you hear is everything. I live in, on the first floor in a city, and it's hot, so I have a fan going, you might hear that, and some cars passing in the background, but I don't think it'll be too much. Guys, let me know in the comments if you hear the fan much louder than me. Um, it's a work in progress since this is a new setup. I'm further away from the window and the fan, but I don't know how that is translating. So my collections insert is staying the same. Um, I have finally, finally updated the index. Let me get a little closer. Um, I have not updated my word of the year collage, but I think it won't be a collage. So I think I've finally just given up on that. Um, yeah, so just a flip through as always to start off to see where, um, what we've done so far this year. Um, what other changes have I made other than updating, finally, my, uh, index. Here we have my annual vlog, um, for the second half of the year. So, this is color-coded, not gonna go into what the colors are for each, but, um, just know this is one of those spreads. I will be looking at a lot while setting up um, and my annual strategy here as well I need to put more things on here because I didn't really put much at all so anyway updates to my relational objective spread and my physical objectives both my physical body and my physical space I do want to put in more stuff here but yeah so these are um, major goals and projects that I pull from every month and I finally updated things so I could see it a little bit better and yeah it's pretty but it's also like yeah and my one book July spread that's the only new spread in here and moving on still using this <laughs> insert because I have a lot of pages left over um but it's bothering me that it looks like this and that it says winter. I don't want to make a new one because um, I'm lazy. <clears throat> I might just clip a piece of paper on here 
that's more summery looking. I don't know. But yeah, I updated my index. Uh, guys, just to be really, really honest, I have not done much. Um, I did the content calendar, which you saw me create last month. Um, I did weekly, and then that was it. I started to make uh, July's content calendar in here, but then I realized, yeah, I'm not using uh, that. I have to wait to do it on screen with you guys. So this will be done today. This guy here, I do still need to update the index for, but let's just go. My projects page, my habit tracker, I'll talk about this later. I got through again roughly half the month and then gave up. Memories will be filled in as well income and expenses. You can follow me on Instagram. My link is in the description to see those spreads updated. And then my monthly review will go here. Now, here are some dailies. I took notes on when I was reading The Green Witch by Aaron Murphy. Hillcock, I don't... And then, yeah. I've got a... Ooh. <laughs> I've got a couple of more things to fill in here. Some notes. But, yeah. I Since I didn't do my dailies the way I had planned to, I still had a lot of pages left. I don't care. I'm, I'm so done with this insert. It's going. It has to go. Um, and the same with my thoughts. Uh, insert here. Not much happening. I only got a couple more pages, but I'm done. As far as I'm concerned, these are done. So, these two are coming out. Um, you can find links to what these are. This was a Fabriano uh, notebook that was not meant to be used um, the way I used it. The pages, as you can see, are falling out. And I had to use washi tape every new spread. Um, it was nice paper-wise. And next time I'll do more research to find the proper Fabiano notebook for what I want, but yeah, that's done. And this was a mole scheme. So, replacing these guys, um, I have a junk journal, which was given to me by uh, Joe Johnson from uh, the junk journal junkies group. We had a swap and I've already started in it for the first and um, this was not uh, bound but I did a, a very simple stitch with some things that I have I'm gonna put this in the front because operating a writing on this will be difficult otherwise <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna put that in the front on the first thing I have here and that is my new long-form journaling journal uh, I'll talk more about the process of using this in my uh, updates for one book July so if you didn't watch my one book July video you will not know this but I'm replacing the Fabriano with this idea collective it is used this was my mother's she somehow got something sticky on the back and I've scrubbed it like three times N nothing nothing working out well for me there um, so this is roughly halfway, I think. Maybe, maybe here. But this is where my monthly uh, log pages will go and my daily log pages. So, very simple. And it has 
a, a bookmark um I mean so that is what's in here now now let's go to setting up I did prep some pages I put two pages of index which I think I should have done more um, my cover page which I always do my plant ally fair of the month song of the month and essential oil that gets filled in at the end of the month um, I put in the dates for my monthly log and my projects page here and then I just marked off some other stuff now I put my monthly review, my quarterly progress, uh, but I've been thinking about including some other, some new spreads. Um, thanks to the Witchy Bujo collab, I got some new ideas, which I really like. So what we're going to do here is start off. with my content calendar. So now we're gonna speed it up and I'll be back to explain everything. And uh, yeah, let's get it. bothering me it's not winter I don't have time to make a new uh, insert I say that now and then I'll probably make one but I I just cut out this piece of decorative paper that I have because I have tons of it and yeah this is more appropriately summary I think I don't know so yeah uh, I'm just going to pin that to the cover of this page because it's bothering me. Anyway, moving on. So, um, let's just go to my new journal and explain. Um, what we have here is my completed setup. Uh, this is a bit awkward when sitting open like this. So, I think when I journal, um... I will pull this out and then fill it in. Like I said, I've already done for the first, which was yesterday. Uh, and yeah. So, as always, I'll have my cards and pens and things tucked in here. 
My fairy of the month is the Fairy of Growth. This is from the Heart of Fairies Oracle. My colors of the month are Imperial, Blue, Snuggle, and Imperial here from the Color Mage Oracle. And you see them repeated throughout. That's partially why I picked this of all the junk journal swaps that I had sitting around because it fits with my month color scheme. Nothing new here in collections right now. Um, in my monthly and weekly setup here is my July content calendar and you can start to see what I'm using as my sort of theme. So today, as I'm filming this, um, and because there's a lot of uh, lunar and solar events this month, I decided to go with a moon theme. Also, it fits good with my color. So I've got like a little solar full eclipse thing going on there, and then some moon phases using the colors of the month. Um, this is the cheap Michaels watercolor pan set, so it's not the best, but it's fine for this kind of thing, just little doodles. I filled in um, some days of the year from that website, just some stuff that I need to know. Holidays, Independence Day for the United States is coming up, full moon and the new moon on the 31st. And yeah, I'll put in my tabs for what videos I'm making this month later because I don't feel like doing that right now. And yeah, I'm not going to show you the first weekly. Now, shows you the cover page already. My monthly log is here. I'll draw in moons as we go on later. Um, the artistic part of this um, is not usually the main focus, so it'll happen as I feel like it over the course of the month, as always. New spreads. So I got the idea for these from some new YouTubers, old and new. Um, Jessica the Story Witch, I've mentioned her before. Um, she usually does these spreads called Field Notes, where she talks about what's happening around her neighborhood when she goes on walks and it's um, become more and more of an important part of my spiritual witchcraft green witchcraft practice um, to pay attention to that kind of thing in a bigger focus um, I read The Green Witch recently and a couple of other things and it's just, you know, been pushing at me intuitively that that would be nice to have. Um, and I always want to do like, a, I always wanted to have a page for astrological notes, so, or astronomical that's the case. So I'm going to put both here. Just stuff that I notice and things that I know that are happening. Um, this month I think is a great time to do so because we just had the lunar eclipse like I showed you a bit from my tablet as it was happening. Um, and a lunar, the full solar eclipse, excuse me. We're going to have a partial lunar eclipse and then another partial solar eclipse in this month. Not to mention all the craziness happening with um, like half the planets being retrograde. So I'll have lots to put here, but I want to make a new um, plants and animal activity as well in my neighborhood just to do because I like it. Now this page is like a combination of something I saw one of the people on YouTube uh, and please excuse me, dear, if I mispronounce this. So, uh, so Valutaria Getchel, link in the description. 
Um, she participated in the Witchy Bujo collab um, with June Fairies like I did last month and I saw some her spread for I Release and she talked about recently about doing something for I Manifest. Having these notes here daily and then using them during the new and full moons. I love the idea. She also does a spread um, where daily magic where like she does a little bit of magic every single day or attempts to and I like that as well because I'm getting out of the habit and yeah so I might put that down here if not just uh, magic that I notice happening in the day might happen. I didn't do a habit tracker because I haven't been filling them in. Like, I'll do the first week and the last week and then nothing in between. Um, I'm just trying to think about more ways to use my bullet journal every day and I, the tracker and, um, the, uh, Daily magic might will probably show up on my dailies. I'm gonna cut down as much as possible on what I'm tracking and use those in my dailies. That's the goal. So next, my income and expenses spread, and you guys never see what goes in here. Maybe one day I've been thinking about it because ooh, big goals happen to be uh, to do with. I mean, um, money. Um, very important. My memory spread will be filled in at the end of the month, as always, same as my monthly review page. And here I will be doing my quarterly progress log. Like, I, I, I'm so bad at, like, figuring out the spacing with my lettering of any kind. So, just ignore that. And that is all. I've got my new insert, my new monthly log and daily log notebook, and I've got my new journal, which is a junk journal, so that is that. With my moon theme, like I said, I will be inserting moons as I go. Now, I may paint them like I did earlier, or I have this lovely paper packet, which has... Uh, all kinds of great things on it. I'm trying to find the one with the moons. Because, of course, here we go. So, I might cut out some of these moons and just glue stick them in. That's why this is sitting up here. And, as far as supplies go, these are the washi tapes I'll be using, though I probably won't have to use them as often as possible as as often as I did before because I'm not using that notebook. The Stabilo pens, my uh, large regular size ones in these colors ran out of ink, so yeah. I'm using the, the minis. And I'm using my Nobel Peace Lamy pen with this platinum pigmented blue from Goulet Pens. So I don't know, I haven't tested it too much in the new journal, but we'll see how that works out. And, and oh, so. Last but not least, I forgot to do this last month, um, my cards for the month, my elemental cards of the month. There will be an elemental video as always. Here is my spread, my elemental year head spread, and the cards for this month are as followed. The Three of Wands for the air, element of air, using the Tilth Tarot. The Nine of Swords for the Element of Fire using the Deviant Moon Tarot. The Nine of Cups 
for the element of water using the Llewellyn Tarot and he of the fiery sword for the element of earth using the fairy's oracle as like I said there will be an elemental um, monthly re reading video coming out very soon after this one so please subscribe if you want to see that um, the video coming out will be my June elemental reading and I give a preview for these cards, a preview reading for these cards. So yeah, subscribe if you would like that. If you would like your own elemental reading, go ahead and um, visit my Etsy shop linked in the description down below. And please like this video if you like it. Subscribe definitely and hit the notification bell if you want to see more uh, of me using my bullet journal and the Traveler's Notebook system here. I will be um, going over the details weekly during one book July. As always, thanks so much for watching. Bye!